All right, let's quickly get to the states and the question I will be asked right up until November the 5th, no doubt. So is Trump going to win? Paul, do you think Trump's still going to win? What's going to happen when it comes to Trump? Now, I've got to say, well done uh, to the News Corp sites around the country that have had to come up with a slightly different way of covering what felt like a pretty boring campaign, but now that, of course, has all changed in the past couple of weeks. It's called United Mates. This is when, and it's a cool idea, they're going to go and visit Brisbane, Hobart, Sydney, Adelaide, Perth and Melbourne, but not in Australia. They're going to Brisbane in California, Hobart in Wisconsin, Sydney in Ohio, Adelaide in Pennsylvania, Perth in Delaware and Melbourne in Florida to say, hey, what do you guys think of what is happening with this election? And this is part of their series that's up on the websites now. It's a good idea. When we left office, the country was in far better shape than when we came into office. The economy was, was on fire. Uh, he didn't get, get us involved in any war. That... He's the scariest human being that I've ever encountered in the United States of America. I think he wants to be a dictator. Now, are things tightening? Yes, they are, but we're still not close enough to know enough data as to whether this thing has become 50-50, has gone Harris's way, or is staying Trump's. Now, remember... When Biden's brain exploded before the world, one point change. When the former president's ear exploded, one point change. Whether there'll be a bigger change as a result of a change of candidate, we'll all find out together. Betting markets, 57.40 in favour of Donald Trump. That has come down from the high 60s. So it is a change, so we'll see what happens. In terms of the swing states, uh, of the six that are here, the Republicans would end up winning five of them right now. That'd be a pretty comfortable lead. But the media is doing its best, including CNN to tell us that Kamala Harris is Obama in a skirt and Hillary with a brain. I think she is someone who comes across as very fun, as very engaging, as very relatable. I can tell you that's been my experience with her whenever I've interacted with her. And she is someone who really cares about people and is sort of like a cool aunt in a lot of ways. The cool auntie, radio. Um, Now, also, but then J.D. Vance, who is a problematic figure, and I'll get to that tomorrow night uh, with what some of the issues are with him as the running mate, but he's kind of mini-Trump, right? No apologies, double down, including having a crack at the media because the media are the ones who held up Biden and now are trying to pump up Harris. We've got some of our friends in the media back there. And after... They, They deserve it. I don't think I look like him. (laughs) Somebody said I did. Clearly, if I look like him, it'd be unelectable, right? Nobody this big gets to run for even vice president.